Hello and welcome to Replica Blunt Guns. Today I have another review of a new interesting gun and this time it is the Rite XR. It's one of the new models by Rite. It's very interesting, very well made gun and let's talk about it. Well, so now you have the standard for the new Rite guns very big, very hard case with hard locks and inside we have of course very thick layers of foam we have the manual, we have the gun we have some gun oil, we have cleaning rod and of course the flare adapter which you know you just screw at the end of the barrel and you can shoot Layers with it. We've talked about this a lot. So basically, let's give this thing aside and let's start talking. Now, the gun is very nice. To be honest, it it feels very, very good in your hand. Uh, just like the uh, Rite 7 thing, I've made a review about it. It's a very well made gun. I don't like the performance at all, but for for overall look and manufacture, it it sure looks nice. You can see it's. I don't. I'm. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not quite sure which car, which type of gun it should resemble. I think it should be some kind of Hector and Koch or Six Hour. I'm. I'm not entirely sure, so that's why I don't want to lie you. And tell you that if it's a replica of a specific model you can tell me in the comments if you know which model is it trying to replicate so basically the gun is heavy it's on the bigger side of the guns it's not small it has thick heavy metal slide and polymer frame and lower part of the gun uh, it has some nice features that I want to talk about it has of course the wrist rail, the Picatinny rail for touching accessories if you want flashlight, laser pointer, whatever you want to put on it it has sides, of course you don't need it it has this hole on the back which is replicated from the real guns which the life pistols need this in order to indicate if the gun is loaded or not but in here it's only a you know the cosmetic part of the gun just for the view the grip is good I don't like that it is flat on the upper part but it is still nice but I don't like the main thing I don't like is that it's very very wide and to tell you what I'm talking about uh, of course let's just take a look at the gun it's clear I like this it has very minimal markings and writings on it and basically it is a front firing pistol the barrel is obstructed but not completely blocked so the gas and the flame goes from the barrel you can use also all type of special rounds if you want to it uses a regular 9mm PAK round this is the MAC release it is double stack magazine and no yep, it goes very hard because it's new it can fit up to 14 rounds maybe 15 if you work the spring out it has no wobbles by the way when you insert the magazine it's good it's well made uh, the gun is single action only which means that you can only hear clicking but it's not shooting when the gun is loaded this is the slide catch and release this is what I don't like it's very far up in the front of the in the front part of the gun you, you see I have big hands and it's very different, difficult for me to reach it. I have to stretch my finger and it, it is moving very hard. And once the gun is loaded, you can shoot it. 
this is the safety I like that it's a nice feature you can see how the safety is made this is what I like this is what I don't like the Mac release button is again something I don't like it's very pointy it sh has sharp edges and it hurts my finger and this thing is very very far in the front part of the gun it's very different from difficult for me to reach it people with smaller hands will surely have problems trying to to use it the safety is only on the left side which makes it hard to use if you're left-handed and this is the disassembly lever if you want to disassemble the gun and clean it and make maintenance for it it is it is well made because you just rotate it counterclockwise and then you just pull it out and it goes out and then you go back and forward and you have it completely disassembled the spring is hard the spring guide is metal and basically that's it you can clean your gun you can do your maintenance or whatever you want to do with it and it's a nice piece it has very nice finish you can see it's matte black I don't see any any manufactured defects or problems except this one in here and the bad positioning of the slide catch release lever and in order to Reassemble the gun, you just put everything back. Now you repeat everything in reverse order. Yeah, that, I told you this is very hard to push. And the thing that I like is that you can see with this lever, you just pull it in here and you start rotating. It goes in, and that's it. Your gun is reassembled, it's ready to be used, and yep, it's not a bad gun, don't get me wrong, the gun is good. I really hope that it that it uh, performs well in shooting tests, which probably I'll do in the near future. But so far, this is what I can tell you about the Rite XR. Feel free to comment below and tell me something that I don't know about this gun or your opinion. Thank you and goodbye.